Hello folks, this is an unboxing video of the game Apollo, the game of our first voyages to the moon by Exoplanet. This is the cover of the box. And on the side it says ages 13 and above, players 1 to 4, so it's soluble and plays in about 30 minutes. What comes in the game box? is the game manual tells you how to play the game illustrated manual a little dedication page origins of the game little introduction on the Apollo program there's a game components page I want to say right off back that my copy new and shrink did not come with these board game pieces so what you'll see in this video or my creation and then how to play the game count the pages one two you can see the nice illustration color where needed three four there are actually four different decks of cards for different situations and so four pages of rules and then the game setup one page Pretty simple to get started. And that's it. There's some advanced play. Two pages of this. Well, three pages. And then for the tech people, there's this reference page. It details what's going on at each stage. Doesn't have an effect on gameplay, it's just historically and gives you sort of a technical background of, of explaining what's what's going on when you're playing a game there's a lunar landing tech stuff and check this out reference three mathematics of the game how about that probability of dice rolls interesting and here's the back of the manual I believe this is Alan Shepard first man on the moon so what comes in the box there are three game boards so the first one, um, Saturn V launch board, and you're going to get a deck of cards for each board. You have to succeed stage by stage, drawing cards and rolling dice. Um, there you're going to in, encounter lots of problems. And if you succeed, then you go to mounted game board number two, the Apollo mission game board, where you try to have a what's called a trans lunar coast to the moon and if you reach that you then attempt to land on the moon and that is on game board number three where you dis descend to the moon to the lunar surface with limited fuel consumption and trying to stay on course and if you succeed at that you then take off back into lunar orbit you dock with the command and service module for your back to this board return trip home to earth and then you attempt a splashdown and every step of the way through card play and dice rolling you encounter problems so it's this game apollo is very much a push your luck card driven dice mitigated type of game all right here's the game box and what do you get in here so this is my creation uh, this was blank when i opened it up so i made these based on a photo in the manual and what you do with these standees is you put them in these little plastic stands and let's get the saturn V rocket and for each board, let's see. And you just move it along each stage as you draw cards. And there's, of course, the limb. I'm not going to put all of these on just to show you. If you make it to the moon, you can have your descent.
collect some rocks, take some pictures, and then you ascend off of the lunar surface. Here's the command and service module. And after docking procedure, the command service module and the limb, the lunar module. Okay, what else? You get two D12 dice. There are these wooden tokens. Black are for marking different positions uh, if you succeed. And yellow and red is when you take damage. Yellow uh, indicates a minus one to your die roll. Red is minus two. And you place them on, for example, you may have a card and roll a dice. You end up getting uh, minus one damage to your e electrical uh, system on your command and service module. Uh, this piece for propulsion. L is for life support. And then the same thing with the lunar module. And you record this. And it's cumulative. So, for example, if you have three yellows across and you're rolling a dice, reference to the command and service module, you have a minus three in your die roll, and that could cause problems. At every stage of the way, uh, you have an opportunity to abort. And you may have to do that to succeed and try again another day. Okay, here are the, here are the cards. Now, one thing I want to say about this, I sleeved my cards, and they fit in this compartment. But if you sleeve them, they won't fit in this compartment. Uh, it's it's a tight fit. They won't fit exactly. If you unsleeve them, they will fit. I think this was made for the game pieces. And this, if they're unsleeved, would probably fit in here. But if they're sleeved, it it kind of tops tops and it doesn't quite fit. So that's they weren't thinking about sleeving. Okay, uh, let me show you where these things go. So as I said, I'm trying to pull these out, folks. All right. There are four separate decks of cards. So you have a Saturn V launch deck. Place it here. There's mission event cards for this game board. And then you have your lunar landing cards for this game board. How about that? And then these are what we call... Save the day. It represents the skill of the pilot or uh, the technician solving a problem. And basically, it's dice mitigation. They uh, give you a plus two or a plus one to the die roll you can use in different situations. And you will need it. So, uh, it also changes the level of difficulty of the game. So, for example, if you start and begin, beginner, each of the four players or positions. And if you play it solo, you play all four positions. Houston, the commander, the uh, commander for the lunar module, the, the, the uh, pilot for the command and service module. So there's four different players or four different positions. And you're playing beginners, you each get two of these save the day cards. If you're more difficult, you have less to use. And you need these cards. All right, so for instance, Let's go to the Saturn V board. Um, you know, the first stage, basically what you do is you draw a card. And I have to say, there are no discard piles. <laughs> you, you stick it under the deck or you take it off the board or whatever, and it's going to cover up if it's on the board. But uh, they're trying to save space. And this is, nothing happens. So you succeed on that draw, and you go to level 2. And you simply draw a card. This can go, and there's no damage. I'll try to do a playthrough, but just to kind of show you. I'm trying to get to a card. Here we go. So this has a Saturn V engine. Uh, has oscillations. You roll the you roll the die, and um, depending on uh, what you roll, you're going to end up having. Use your markers again. Uh, some what we call structural points decrease. And if you get down to one, you're going to have to abort. Or it's an automatic abort. And here's your abort. So each, each stage of the mission to the moon, different boards going to have different sets of cards, mission cards. Here's one. No change. Great. 
and you move progress to the next level next stage no change let me get one that oh this is some good draws okay so this is the command and service module or lunar module systems it is a downgrade so you roll a d12 and then you can consult this board and let's say you rolled a five you would be it would be minus one to the command and service module life support system so here's the command and service module life support system if it's green you place a yellow token and that would indicate on your dice roll reference to this would be minus one if it was already yellow you go to red if it's if there's a minus two and none on here but some cards will be a minus two you don't go to red and and that's where you need to start considering maybe aborting the mission and then on the Apollo uh, lunar landing, I should say, the lunar module, uh, you are descending. You have limited fuel. You, you mark your fuel gauge, and you're going down in fuel as you're descending, and you're drawing cards for each level. And this one says uh, there's a malfunction. All right, so there's an increased risk of a hard lunar landing, minus one on landing attempt roll. So... What you can end up doing is well, that's, that's when you when you get down to here, it's going to be a minus one. Here's another one. Uh, the limb is off course, so you're gonna you're gonna take a minus one fuel because every stage you're taking minus one. But also here, using your your black marker, you're gonna go off course, and you want to try to stay on course. Now you can mitigate that by taking two fuel losses to stay on course. Right, you're adjusting stay on course but if you take two fuel losses you may not have enough fuel to land properly and you end up crashing so a lot of pressure luck situations so those are your four decks of cards and then finally what i like it's interesting is this flight plan uh, it's designed to look like the flight manual you've seen the movie apollo 13 with tom cruise and Kevin Bacon flipping around in zero gravity, uh, trying to fix problems. This is sort of it. And there's a nice introduction, a beginning, that tells you about the space program. But basically what you do is you follow for each stage of the game. You're going, they're going to tell you what to do. Now the first page is usually some sort of historical content. And this tells you what to do. All right, so it tells you draw a card or roll a dice. And if you uh, succeed, you're going to go to a different page. If you are a different stage, and you would progress to the next level. And if you don't succeed, then it tells you what to do. You may have to abort or you get a chance to fix the problem. And so turn the page and you move to the next level. And this takes you through the Saturn V launch. It takes you through a docking procedure with the limb. It takes you through the lunar landings. And it's, look, it's highly illustrated. Very procedural. Um, there's, there's, there's a basic mission to get to, the, get to the moon and back. And lots of problems can be encountered along the way. And as the designer said, it made it a little bit more difficult to succeed, but you're, you're experiencing what the problems of the actual Apollo program had experienced. And then even if you do succeed, let me get to the end here, about 17 of these pages, if you're successful, right, about 17, here's the end, you splash down. But if you have to abort, then you flip, you cut to these, there's abort one and two and three. So, so different stages along the game, uh, they're going to refer you to different abort pages to proceed. So very well done. Uh, it has a little twist of it. So this is, doesn't tell you how to play the game, it guides you through gameplay. And that's basically it, folks. Uh, the only thing I didn't show you was the back of the box. And nice design.
no history. And there are your contents. Three mounted game boards. 54 cards, actually four separate decks. There are four game pieces of mine. Mine were absent. They were missing. Two. Now they say 10-sided dice. Maybe it was I wrong. Nope. They're not 10-sided. I mean, you tell me. What is that? These are D12s. So that's a misprint. Uh, game manual. Game flight plan. And then 20 game tokens. That's your black, yellow, and red tokens. And that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed it.